Hello. Hello. Chilly guys here. It is technically summer, today's a bit of an overcast, but mostly um, this month it's been very, very hot, very humid. This plant here is the hydroponics. As you can see, it's a lot bigger than, I mean these are different breeds, but it's a lot bigger than these ones. African parasite, very raggled this one over here. Eventually that becomes that, but we won't focus on that. We'll have a look at this. Um, started off with a chili focus feed, and upon going to a shop, um, we were informed that we'd actually be using a hell of a lot of chili focus feed comparative to if we were to use proper feeds. And we only went for the flowering stage one is because we actually managed to get this plant to quite a substantial size using just like seaweed extract and normal um, chili focus feed. It's just about starting to get to that budding point now. There's oh there is a flower in there. Tiny little bit, is there? Yeah. Oh yes, as you can see it is getting to, well, that, to see. that budding point now. So uh, we find that just adding our own like type of like seaweed extract or something with with nitrogen in, we're not using the because the, these come in packs of like like four altogether. So you get the first two, which are for the first stage of growing, and then these two once you get into so the that's bloom. the bloom stuff. So what was still there? Bloom feed part A. You literally add next to nothing on it. There's like a ten on on here. It obviously depends how much yeah. solution you're making up, but. And that's per whatever the instructions say to add. Gallon or so, I think. Uh, it's hard water here in um, farmer land, Bristol. Uh, so, I've also got some pH down. This is a cheaper one, which I got on eBay, but there is another one with a different type of acid in. Same Vitalink brand, the other one. What's this is nitric acid, the other one's phosphoric acid. So this one does add a little bit more nitrate, which we think we might have to be careful of, but... I also like to point out that um, you add like a drop. Yeah, this <laughs> is really sensitive stuff. I actually added too much, and um, using some what's the paper called? Lip, 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 Limus paper. Limus paper. It came out and it was like red, and I was like, oh my god, the plant's gonna die now. Um, so then I added some bicarbonate soda to re-level it, and it's actually been fine. So now it's at a perfect level. I wouldn't say you'd have to change the water that often. They do say every two weeks check the level and if the level is going down instead of topping up completely like clean out the bucket and re-add re -add it from the beginning um, just to get a nice... Have we introduced the system before? I think I probably have but just in case I haven't. It's a basic uh, system of pebbles in. As you can see I mean, no one has not been seen it this before. I think you've probably seen it when I had this tomato plant in it. This one's a chili plant. It's bubbling away down there. There's an air sitting in there. There's uh, a pump over there somewhere. I do have power out. Is anybody thinking of having power in a greenhouse? I do it. Um, none of this is weatherproofed or waterproofed. It is all normal mains power. One of them's connected up to a basic heater to stop it going down below a certain temperature. It's up to you. I can't turn around to you and say, yes, put your electrics outside. The plug going from the wall to here, though, is waterproofed. But um, use it at your own risk, really, if you're going to actually go for something like that. But personally, it's fine. I wouldn't have anything like that out outside, outside, though. Well, the heater would be kind of pointless. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, at the moment, this is doing very well. We still do have uh, an auto pot system, which... It's starting to come back. I need to. We're thinking of switching it to cocoa, so um, you can using coconut fibres instead of soil. But it's. Uh, I put it outside, and it lost all its leaves because we had a very bright week, and the leaves were from winter, so it just dropped all the leaves. But it's starting to grow this back now, so we'll start increasing the nutrient. But it's way, way, way behind this. But it's still got a lot of uh, branch structure, so hopefully it'll come back quickly. So this is doing well. Hopefully, it gets some peppers on it once that gets to that stage, I'll do another video, if it doesn't get to that stage and it just stays as a bush, I'm going to also do another video just so I can like take it to the company and go, what did I do wrong? Well you did it, that was the... <laughs> we not to do it with me. But at the moment it's all looking good and hopefully I'll get some crop off of this. 
And then if it does work well, I might even get another one. Yeah. Because we can get pumps with a couple of stones, or might even be able to get like a trough system. Just get to fill that entire area with one massive. Yeah, yeah just get like a unit tank, and then not bother with like dirt anymore. Apart from at the beginning stages of like propagation and stuff. Well, you can do hydroponic stuff for that, but you can. We this was started in dirt, wasn't it? Yeah, this, this started in fine. a small amount of I mean, dirt. Look at the size of the leaves. If you follow back through the videos, you can probably see the stages of where this was in dirt, and then I moved it into a small pot into water. And then from there into this pot, and then eventually it's like this. So, kind of, uh, yeah, nice and purple as well, which means yeah. it's going mad with the growth hormone. Yeah. It's going to get to a point where it's going to sort of reach its limit um, from this bank. As you can see, it's going to be squished in there, but hopefully, it'll realise that and grow other directions. Oh, we could trim it, I think. We... Yeah. But yeah, it's all looking good for now, so. Thanks for watching, subscribe, like and share, and uh, until next time, bye! bye.